What if I told you the Earth's poles are shifting and ancient civilizations were buried under mud in a global catastrophe? Okay, that second part is a joke, but the Earth's magnetic poles are way overdue for a shift. But what would actually happen when they shift? In spiritual communities, there are theories that the pole shift could be linked to human consciousness and that our collective consciousness might influence whether the shift has negative or positive outcomes. Could it be that our level of consciousness determines whether the pole flip leads to catastrophic events or to a spiritual ascension? Some believe that the ancient Egyptian deity Thoth taught that the pole flip is related to our consciousness. According to this idea, the upcoming pole shift isn't just a physical event, but also tied to the consciousness of the Earth itself. It suggests that both humans and the Earth are undergoing a collective ascension. In Robert Monroe's legendary books, there's a scene where he's in the cosmos, looking down at Earth and talking to his higher self. He notices spaceships gathered around Earth and asks what's going on. His higher self explains that they are here for the big show, an event that happens every several hundred million years when a world undergoes a transformation, birthing a new energy source in life. This metamorphosis attracts various extraterrestrial races and beings who come to witness it. This idea is echoed by others like hypnotherapist Dolores Cannon, who talked about Earth splitting into two and entering a new phase. Daryl Anka, who channels the entity Bashar, has discussed similar concepts for over 30 years. Philosopher and university professor Edgar Cayce and Nostradamus have also mentioned a significant upcoming shift. The Earth's magnetic field is created by the movement of molten iron within its outer core. This dynamo effect generates a magnetic field that extends from the Earth's interior out into space, creating the magnetosphere that protects the planet from solar winds and cosmic radiation. Over time, this magnetic field is not static. It undergoes fluctuations and even complete reversals, where the north and south magnetic poles switch places. Evidence of past magnetic pole reversals is found in geological records, particularly in the study of volcanic and sedimentary rocks. As molten lava cools and solidifies, iron-rich minerals within the rock align with the Earth's current magnetic field. By examining the orientation of these magnetic minerals, scientists can determine the direction of the magnetic field at the time the rock was formed. This process, known as paleomagnetism, has revealed a pattern of periodic magnetic reversals throughout Earth's history. One of the most significant pieces of evidence comes from the ocean floors. As new crust is formed at mid-ocean ridges, it records the Earth's magnetic field at the time of its creation. The seafloor spreads away from the ridges, creating symmetrical patterns of magnetic stripes on either side. These stripes, which alternate between normal and reversed magnetic polarity, provide a timeline of magnetic reversals corroborating the idea that the Earth's magnetic field has flipped many times over millions of years. Further supporting evidence is found in the study of sediment cores from deep ocean drilling projects. Layers of sediment accumulate over time, preserving a record of the Earth's past magnetic field. By analyzing the magnetic properties of these sediments, scientists can identify periods of magnetic reversal and gain insights into the frequency and duration of these events. We know the Earth's magnetic field is weakening and a pole flip is imminent. This has happened cyclically throughout Earth's history. However, in spiritual communities, it's believed that our collective consciousness could influence whether this shift is positive or negative. That's why there's a push to raise our vibration, spread love and light, and be kind to others. It's not just about individual actions. It's about ensuring that this pole flip benefits all of us. So don't just be kind in certain contexts. Make it a consistent practice to uplift everyone around you, regardless of their beliefs. Chan Thomas allegedly worked for the Air Force as a ufologist in the 60s. There's no solid proof of his military involvement, but there is a picture of him on the CIA website. In 1965, he wrote a book called The Adam and Eve Story. Within a year, the CIA banned it, and it didn't resurface until 2013, following a Freedom of Information Act request. Only 65 pages of the book were released, heavily redacted from the alleged 300 pages it originally contained. Thomas's theory on magnetic pole shifts is unique. He claimed that the poles would shift, and on the seventh day, the Earth would correct itself by doing a 90-degree turn. During this flip, the Earth would spin, but the Sun would stay in place, superheating everything. Additionally, a magnetic pole shift would disrupt all forms of communication, the Internet, and more. According to Thomas, this event would annihilate the Earth. It's important to note that while this sounds alarming, there's no strong evidence to support Thomas's claims. It's interesting, though, especially when compared to interpretations from the spiritual community. This raises questions about why the CIA banned the book. 
It could have been to prevent fear-mongering or panic about the end of the world, especially given the global tensions of the 60s. Let's shift our focus to the mud flood theory, an alternative history conspiracy theory that posits we didn't actually build most of our major cities. Instead, the theory claims that during the 19th century we occupied these cities after excavating them intact from underground, where they had been buried by a catastrophic natural disaster, often referred to as a mud flood. According to this theory, the older and more impressive parts of modern cities were built by a lost, trans-oceanic Central Asian empire known as Tartaria, which supposedly ruled most of the world during a golden age of science and culture. We are now merely inhabitants of the ruins of their advanced civilization, largely ignorant of what truly lies beneath our feet. The Mud Flood Theory has its origins in the late 20th and early 21st centuries, gaining traction on internet forums and social media platforms. Proponents of the theory point to architectural anomalies, such as buildings with windows and doors below ground level, as evidence of a buried past. They argue that these features suggest entire structures were covered by mud and only partially excavated, leading to the strange architectural designs we see today. One of the key explanations within the mud flood theory is that the supposed empire of Tartaria was responsible for these grand constructions. Advocates claim that Tartaria was an advanced civilization with sophisticated technology and architectural prowess, far surpassing that of contemporary societies. They believe that historical records have been deliberately altered or suppressed to erase the memory of this great empire and its achievements. The theory has been popularized by various online personalities and researchers who produce content exploring supposed evidence and discussing the implications of a hidden history. Videos, articles, and forums dedicated to the mud flood theory attract a dedicated following, all intrigued by the possibility of a forgotten chapter in human history. Despite its popularity in certain circles, the theory lacks support from mainstream historians and archaeologists who attribute the architectural features cited by mud flood theorists to more conventional explanations such as urban development, sedimentation, and changes in building practices over time. We don't have all the answers, but we found this topic fascinating and wanted to share it with you. According to top researchers and scientists, there's nothing to worry about regarding magnetic shifts. Let me know what you think.